Hey, hey, what is going legends? This is Ron from Optimize Effects, and today I've just got a review to show you, or to share with you actually, by the way. So basically, long story short, I have been testing the Agimat FX IQ system for the past month, and I just wanted to share my my views on it. It's an unbiased view. Um, I'm not for or against this system, but I'm going to show uh, the reasons why I canceled my subscription. So if you're not familiar with this system, it's brand new. It has been out for a bit over a month. Um, it predicts, uh, uses uh, neural networks to predict uh, 10 minutes into the future on five minute charts. So it's a scalping strategy. Uh, this is the website here. It's agimattrainingsystem.com. Uh, most successful scalping strategy. There's lots of good reviews there already. I haven't read them yet, but basically, what this does is it uses lines and peaks to predict uh, the, the direction of the market um, in the future. So basically it's predicting um, where the market is going to go into the future. So this is after, I don't know, before, <laughs> before and then after. So it's showing a candle that's different. I don't know what this is doing. It doesn't show anything really, but basically it uses a system I've got it on my computer on my VPS. Uh, it uses a system that you trade with the trend on the five minute and you trade in the direction of the line. So the which direction the lines are strongest is where you open the trade. Now the rules are uh, you wait for a peak, which is a triangle, and then you, you look for the strongest direction of the trend and you wait for a signal. So signals come every five minutes. There are samples here on the website. I'm not going to show you that. You can jump on the website and have a look for yourself. Uh, these are the two um, options that you've got to, to trial the product or, or purchase it for a lifetime. Uh, what I did was it's a monthly subscription, $47. Uh, I'm in Australia, so that went and ended up being like 70, I think $74 or something like that for the month. Uh, it's pretty much everything the same as the lifetime, but obviously monthly. And there you have uh, a little bit of information on uh, the system there, how does it work, uh, bits and pieces, and there's the uh, chart to sh show you what it does. Uh, it only uses currency pairs that, uh, that have an extremely low spread, so usually just the majors, uh, like these ones here. Uh, based on a formula and a little call to action and all that kind of stuff there. So that's the website in a nutshell. And we'll head to, uh, this is my live chart. So this uh, finished, uh, this finished on a, on a, well, Saturday morning for me, cause I'm in Australia, but this is the end of the trading, trading day. And this is where the, uh, the, the market ended up. So this is a really good example that I can show you right here on AUD, USD, F5. So they're all the five minute time frame. As you can see, the bid, uh, bid ask is quite large at the moment. You want to have that a lot smaller, but um, you wouldn't trade this right now. But this, let's say your spread is like one pip or something like that. Um, one to two pips, which is what you you need um, pretty much a low, low spread or no spread broker to trade this system. Now, I'm going to run through his, um, his strategy and his entry signals and the way he enters. So he's, he's got lots of videos on all of this. Um, but in doing so myself, I ran into a bit of trouble. Now, the biggest trouble that I had was that his system involves no stop loss. So you get a signal, uh, let's say you got a signal, um, you know, earlier in the piece and it was a sell signal. And uh, this has happened, this happened to me I actually blew an account because I had a $100 account, which was this one right here to test this system on. And because of scalping, you're using a bit bigger lot size than what you normally would. So I think that the max lot size on a $100 account was 0 0.05 per trade. And he uses a stop loss, which is how he trades and how he tells you to trade. So this is what I did. And no more than one or two trades at a time going at once, which is fair enough. Um, you know, a small account, rather big lot size, for a small account and there's no stop loss. So I followed the procedure and the procedure goes like this. So I'll make this chart a bit smaller. So this is a perfect, perfect setup. 
this is this is exactly what you want so you look for well actually you probably wouldn't have traded this because it's coming outside the line so the first thing is is where is the price right now um, this dotted yellow line in the middle is where the price started on at the start of the day this vertical line is where the market opened and these lines going up or down is the extension of the market in, during that day if the if the price goes outside of any of these uh, upper or lower dotted lines it's a no trade situation so if you've got if you had a sell signal here you wouldn't have entered it because it's outside of the rules so we'll go to something else that's out oh is that outside we'll have a quick look yes that's outside that is definitely outside yep we're hyper extended <clears throat> oh, here we go there's one that's inside and another one that's outside so at the end of the trading day on Friday the market went outside of the trading range that uh, you meant to trade in using the system so USD CAD would be the only one you're looking at unless you wanted to break the rules and, and trade the AD USD sell um, just disregard the, the spread right now because the market is closed so this is the rules right uh, you wait for a you, you look at peak and you trade with the peak so the arrow is going up the last arrow is going up so if you had a signal to buy you would only place a buy if you had a signal to sell you wouldn't place a sell because the last peak arrow was a buy was going up so that's the first rule second rule is you trade with the trend and you got to trade inside the lines and you only open a trade if these lines here so these lines here that you see are the prediction that the the ea has predicted for the future so the lines are the prediction so sometimes there aren't any i've noticed that as well and the prediction here is going down but we've got an arrow going up there's no lines there is some lines, and they're going kind of up so there's a strong uptrend here and ADUSD strong down so in this case I wouldn't if I got a buy signal here I wouldn't have taken the trade because uh, these lines are not going strong enough in, in an uptrend so this would be a no trade but let's just say that AUDUSD uh, wasn't outside of this line and this was a trade situation <clears throat> so you got a signal to sell here and the lines uh, you got a signal to sell you have a look at the chart and you're like okay sweet let's just pretend that we're inside the lines we're inside the lines and the last prediction or peak arrow was pointing down and you got a sell uh, sell signal so what you would do is you would place um, a, a sell a trade and but with no stop loss and he wants you to place a trade with a five pip take profit and no stop loss so very small scalps now the problem i have the, with that is and what i've had before is i've taken this i've had the signal everything lined up perfectly and you also trade no stop loss right so i open the trade and then these lines here it the, the market didn't really move it didn't hit my take profit of five pips and then the market switched around and it did not come back so these lines look good right now but when you get the next signal they could be the other way around which is what happened to me and more than one occasion that happened to me so that's why that's the main reason why i'm not renewing my subscription the other reason is that you need to have a fairly big account to to probably take advantage of these scalps and like if you've got 100 bucks uh, even a thousand dollars is just not enough to scout with this system it's just not not much money at all um, especially if you take into um, effect the the no stop loss thing so what i ended up doing was doing a 10 pip stop loss and a 5 pip take profit so that way if it didn't hit my take profit uh, it got stopped out 
But the problem I had with that was it tended to stop out more than I had got the tech profit, uh, which was unfortunate. So why I blew my account, and I, this is not a problem with the system, system itself, um, was that because I was told not to use a stop loss, um, I let that trade basically run. I didn't close it. I opened up another trade. Um, I, I looked, looked out for the next support and I placed a, like, like it was, let's say it was a sell. I placed another sell limit at support and the prices kept blowing up. It just went up and up and up and up. And then there was news and it, it blew their hundred bucks just like that. So I'm like, oh, well, that's, uh, that's, that's not good. Uh, and I was a bit dubious about not using a stop loss, even though like in all his examples, uh, he, he didn't use one and was, for some reason was showing just all perfect trades. So I don't know how he was doing that. And the other thing is uh, he doesn't actually show, um, his account size, but he does show the trades. So we'll just have a quick look here. So there's a signal. He opens a cell, three, is it three lots, UJ. So he's on UJ. He's got the down arrow. The future prediction is pointing down hard. You can see here, and it's it is within the dotted horizontal lines. So the price has to be within that to take a trade. It doesn't matter if it comes out as long as the price is inside it. You can take a trade, but. For some reason, he's opened this trade and he gets he gets them all somehow. There is some drawdown though in, in his trade, which is normal, perfectly normal to have drawdown in a system like this. But look how small the take profit is. And he's doing quite a bit of lot size, so three lots. Now, in this situation, I'll pause it right now. What happened to me was that the trade went longer than five minutes because you get a signal every five minutes and these lines change every five minutes. What happened to me was Yes, it was pointing down and the next five minutes it was buy and these lines went up. They went straight up and the price went up, even though when it was a sell, the signal before and, and that's how I blew the account. So from my experience, my experience, um, it's not a system for me yet. Um, I'd like to see, um, this system have a much better risk management than no stop loss because I lost my hundred dollars plus, uh, plus the seventy dollars it cost me to um, trial it for a month, basically to use it for a month. So, so basically, and it was US dollars. So, basically, I'm down over two hundred bucks just to trial the system for a month and more time. So, I think there are better systems out there, but I'd really like to hear other people's thoughts on this system, and. Um, you know, I believe I was doing everything right. I was following the rules. I wasn't doing anything that I wasn't supposed to be doing. Um, I was looking for when the markets were opening. So for me, my main trading times is London and New York. That's when I get home at night and that's when I'm able to take trades. So maybe that was the reason. Maybe uh, uh, maybe London, London, New York was not great. Uh, maybe there's a bit too, too much volatility uh, there. But what I do know is that you want to have a time in the market when there is volatility to move the price. So yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what happened for me, but uh, yeah, it wasn't great. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. That is just my reasons for not renewing my subscription with Agamat FX IQ. Um, it is a great system. Uh, I'm sure it is going to be a good system for a lot of you, but it's not for me. Let me know what you think in comments below. Um, I've used his other systems as well. And uh, yeah, anyway. But that's my two cents. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.